Hangman Page and John Silver and Alex Reynolds versus MJF and Santana and Ortiz. Don't feel bad, Vinny. For some reason, I wrote Hangman, Alex Page, and John Silver. It was a long year. <laughs> there was a in one, in one of the notes earlier. I just said, I just wrote Page. And I almost said Dallas. So <laughs> it's a strange, strange, strange night. Page, Silver, and Reynolds versus MJF and Santana and Ortiz. So two angles here from Twitter paid off. John Silver revealed that uh, Brody Lee had paid for mini Brody Lee gear for Silver for an angle for being the elite that they never got to film. So he was wrestling in it tonight. And then there was a bit where after last week where MJF met with Santana Ortiz, they shared their both in... They're, well, they're, they're, they're both grieving the losses of family members and uh, they're bonding through that. And they met him in the locker room and presented him with a gift, which we do not see on Twitter. It was revealed here. They got him Puerto Rican flag trunks. Yes, they did. And Jeff is actually resting on those. So there's lots of spots through in this match about throwing papers at people because that's what Brody Lee would do on being the elite. MJF throughout the entire match is taunting negative one. And eventually there's a hot tag. And we've talked about this for weeks now. But this is the first appearance of full bore, unad unadulterated, pure babyface John Silver. And it was fucking great. Jim Ross's exact words were, what a white meat babyface this guy is. Sure He's was. A, he was a better babyface in this match than Hangman. Think about that. So Wardlow appears to lay out Reynolds and help MGF, help the inner circle, when who should run out to make the save but the Vintner? Oh, my God, Vinny. Let me tell you something. I told this story on a, another show about... I had heard months ago that Brody was in the ER, but the person that told me had heard from somebody else, and neither of us could get this confirmed. And so, you know, after a while, you don't hear anything more. And it's kind of that thing where you figure, no news has to be good news. Sure. So, I had heard this, but I was holding out hope that someday, this fucking guy is going to make his big return. He's going to run in on Dynamite. He's going to obliterate Cody. I kept waiting for that run in, and it never happened. And I think it was Matt Cardona on Twitter said the same thing, where he's watching the show and he's just waiting for Brody to run out there. He's never going to run out there. When Eric Rowan hit the ring, I was like, oh my God. This was the greatest run-in I may have ever seen. Who better than Rowan? Oh, hold on. Chris Jericho lost his shit. He's so he excited. Clearly, he did not know this was going to happen. That he's screaming the name Eric Rowan over and over again, which, of course, is WWE's <laughs> trademark, so you're not supposed to say Eric Rowan. Every time he says Rowan, Excalibur's screaming, Redbeard! He's trying to Red Beard! so hard. And Jericho's screaming over and over again. <laughs> I'm screaming with him. It's the Vintner! The Vintner is here! It's the fucking Vintner! The fucking Vintner runs wild, and he chases Wardlow away. I was like, oh, my God. I've never seen anything like this before. And they do the finish, and Silver in his Brody Lee outfit, he hits that big Brody Lee Larry, and he wins, and he drops oh. down, and he's weeping. Don't, don't, over, before he comes back, don't oversell the last to finish here. MJF breaks up a pin. Yes! And he turns around, and there's negative one, and I mentioned <laughs> Pro Wrestling is about the asshole being an asshole and getting his comeuppance. The most asshole move of this entire night, MJF reaches out and yanks the mask off of this little kid. He unmasked the little kid. So... The camera goes behind him because out of respect for the luchador, you don't show his face. And MGF turns around and somebody passed this kid a kendo stick. And this seven-year-old, as hard as he could, hit MGF in the head. MGF's down. And Ortiz is now left three-on-one in the ring with the baby faces. And they stare him down. And Reynolds and Hangman look at Silver they realize this is his moment. They back away and give him the spotlight. And Silver does the big Brody Lee pose and the discus lariat and pins him. And he shatters. Dude, this was the greatest tribute match 
in the history yep. of professional wrestling. Yep. It, it was the greatest. Like, when Wardlow hit the ring and was going to screw the Dark Order, that is when Brody Lee should have run in. But he has passed away. Yes. So of all the people on the planet Earth that could make that run in for Brody Lee, who could be better? His the, the other Bludgeon brother. Nobody. Yes. There's nobody on the face of this planet that would have been a better run in. Even if you could have got like The Rock. No, it would not have been as good. It still would not have been as great as the Vintner running in. It was this was match was beautiful. It was it was the greatest tribute match I've ever seen. It was ten stars. Yeah. It was fucking perfect from beginning from the moment it was time for this match until they went to the next segment. This was perfect. It was absolutely perfect professional wrestling. It was one of the most wonderful things I've ever seen in my life. I loved everything about this. So Silver's down, and Hangman's turning to him, and Reynolds is trying to turn up, and, and Rowan returns with a sign reading, Goodbye for now, my brother. See you down the road. And he's sobbing. And aside, obviously, from Brody's family, there were two moments on the show that really, really got to me. And seeing Eric Rowan, this big, monstrous ogre of a man, broken. And that, 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 I, that spoke to what Brody Lee meant to all these people and how wonderful he must have been. I never got a chance to speak to him. And one thing I realized over the past week is that is clearly my detriment. I never got a chance to, to, sure to was. talk to him. This so, is the greatest. Yes, this was fantastic. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.